Imagine, if you will, being on your deathbed and standing around your bed, the dreams given to you by life, the ideas that you never acted on, the talents, the gifts, the abilities that you never used. And there they are, standing around your bed, looking at you with large angry eyes saying we came to you and only you could have given us life and now we must die with you forever and the question is if you die this very moment what will die with you what dreams what ideas what talents what greatness that you showed up to bring don't allow fear of failure and the attractiveness of playing it safe in life to draw you in you can't get out of life alive you got to die to leave here you have something special you have greatness within you you were born phenomenal listen to me you were literally born phenomenal like the whole process like there are like five million options in the womb we're not talking about one sperm cell and one egg. There are five million options. Not a five million options. You made it. They've got to make their way through a complex series of environments in a, in a kind of warfare. It is warfare. Innately, innately, everything about you is great. Everything about you is phenomenal. But the problem is you have consciously chosen to be average. You are average in school. You are average at your workplace. Everything you do is average, and not because it's average, but because you made a decision. You made a choice to be average. Why? Because the people around you are average. Or maybe you grew up in an average environment, or went to an average school, or you worked for an average company, so you decided. You've decided to go against who you are. You've decided to go against who you are. So that's why you go to the basketball games. That's why you spend hours watching your favorite athlete, right? Right? Because when you watch them, you watch them. There's something about you that's attracted to that greatness because there's something in you that's great. That's why, that's why you put those headphones on and you just shut the whole world out and you listen to your favorite artist. You listen to them sing or you listen to them rap and, and deep down inside, you hurt when you listen because it should be you. You are attracted to greatness because greatness is all in you. But it's easier to watch greatness. It's easier to go see greatness than it is to put in the time, to put in the energy, to, to discipline yourself, to sacrifice. It's easier. And so that's why you average and so you frustrated because you're not living like you should live. No, you don't have what you should have. You're not being who you should be. But I would hate to live and die and never know what would happen if I ever committed myself to anything. But you've never seen what you could be if you threw your whole self at your dream. It's time for you to look within yourself and decide that I'm in charge of my destiny. I'm in charge here. And when you decide I'm going to do it, the universe will yield to you. And life will never be the same again. Live your dream. The kingdom of God is within man, not one man, nor a group of men, but in all men, in you. You, the people, have the power. The power to create machines, the power to create happiness. You, the people, have the power to make this life free and beautiful, to make this life a wonderful adventure. And that if you decide that my life deserves my developing this what I do well, and becoming the best at it, and mastering myself, and seeing what I have within me. I grant you, you'll never ever be without. I'm telling you, greatness is here. Greatness is upon you. You better act like it.